publications been brought forward to today of the explosive book on the Trump administration, despite threats of legal action by the U.S. president, notably targeting his former aide, Steve Bannon. He cited in the book making critical and damaging remarks, but Bannon's latest comments were more complimentary. The president of the United States is a great man. You know, I support him day in and day out, whether going through the country, given the Trump miracle speech or on the show or on the website. So I don't think you have to worry about that. But I appreciate the kind words. Trump had said his ex-advisor had lost his mind after the comments attributed to him in the book were made public, but seemed happy at the apparent turnaround. I don't know, he called me a great man last night, so, you know, he obviously changed his tune pretty quick. All right, thank you all very much. Thank you. I don't talk to him. I don't talk to him. I don't talk to him. That's just a misnomer. Thank you. The White House spokeswoman heaped scorn on the book at her briefing. Fire and Fury inside the Trump White House portrays her boss as not really wanting to win the presidency. In the book, Bannon's quoted as describing a pre-election meeting with a group of Russians at Trump Tower as treasonous.